On episode 232 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Where the Crawdads Sing. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just got back from seeing Where the Crawdads Sing. I'm asking you first the time, April. What did you think? Well, I'm going to have to give this one, I mean, a three and three-fourths. All right. It just was an incredibly well-made, beautiful movie that happened to have a story that was very powerful. I give this movie three and a half stars. We'll tell you all about it after these two trailers. All right. So the first trailer is for the movie She Said. This is about New York Times reporters Megan Tolley and Jody Cantor break one of the most important stories of the generation, a story that helped launch the Me Too movement and shattered decades of silence around the subject of sexual assault in Hollywood. Yes, this is the story about... Ugh. What's his face? God, why am I... Harvey Weinstein. Oh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, I don't even like to say his name. This movie has a release date Ugh. of November 18th of 2022, starring Tom Felafree, <laughs> Carrie Mulligan, and Samantha Morton. The second movie is Amsterdam. This is set in the 30s and follows three friends who witness a murder, become suspects themselves, and uncover one of the most outrageous plots in American history. This has a really deep state of November 4th, 2020, starring Christian Bale, Anna Taylor-Joy, Margot Robbie, Robert De Niro, Zoe Saldana, Timothy Oliphant, and Rami Malek. I don't know. This movie, to me, looks like another Knives Out type of movie. Yes. I, it's chocked full of stars and everything yeah. but uh to me i don't uh, i wish it had made me want to see it yeah the trailer That's... didn't make me want to see it it made me go right. come on really anyways okay where the crawdads sing this is a story about a woman who has raised herself in the marshes of the deep south becomes the suspect in the murder of man she was once involved with this is directed by olivia newman who is known for first march and on tv she fbi chicago pd and chicago fire it's written by Lucy Albar, who's known for the Beast of the Southern Wild and Troop Zero. Remember the, 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 oh, yeah, the Girl Scout yeah, movie? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And this is based off the book uh, by Delayla Owens. It has a cast of Daisy Edgar Jones, Taylor John Smith, Harris Dix Dixon, Dickinson, David Stratham. No, that's not David Stratham, Tim. That's David Strathairn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael Hyatt, Sterling Macer Jr., Logan McAray, and Billy McKay. Billy, God, I'm having a hard time today. Billy Kelly. All right. The runtime's 125 minutes. Rated PG-13 for sexual content and some violence, including a sexual assault. All right. You want to dig into this one? Yes. All right. Let's talk about this. The theme and the tone. Well, let's see. The lasting damage of abandonment. Okay. The impact of trauma on a relationships and the constancy of nature and life. But it is also a coming of age story, which the last part is what I really agree with. Um, this movie was absolutely breathtaking from the scenery, the shots, nature. I mean, it just really wanted to make me pack up for a couple months and, and head to North Carolina. Right. Which is actually, ironically, where part of where I grew up. It is one of the most beautiful states in the in the nation. It's interesting for me because the, you know, when talking about the location of this, it was set in in somewhere on the coast of of North Carolina, which has a lot of marshes and oh, yeah. a lot of lot of these kind of places. But it wasn't filmed there. It was actually filmed in Louisiana. Yeah, Go I, I, and I, I when he told me that people, I didn't really even believe it because it looked so much like North Carolina. Yeah, it did. Um, and it was actually just. And I do mean breathtaking. It, it was gorgeous. 
Um, I, I thought the acting in characters, it was very well acted. And Daisy was, Edgar Jones, who, who's the main character in this movie, I haven't seen her anything else, but I, no. I really enjoyed her acting. And I think she's yeah. going to be somebody to keep an eye on. I, I want to say that the acting in this movie was top notch. The characters, whoever wrote the quirkiness and the the backbone, if you will, of the characters did a great job. But I want to say she was a study in herself. Um, I just, she was complicated, Tim, but very, very authentic. Yeah. Well, I think when you, you're basically raised by yourself and raised by yourself, you have a different, you, you kind of miss out on the social norms that you're yeah. taught and, and what's right and what's wrong. And I, I thought the honesty of her character was really interesting yeah. and, and, and such too. She's pure. And one of the nice, nice things too, because when you have a movie that's based off of a book, I, I've talked to several people who've read the book. I haven't read the book. And they said this movie was very uh, true to the book. Yeah, I started it and did not finish it. So, unfortunately, um, but I just, I really enjoyed the movie. I think it, it was well directed um, and the score was moving. Yeah. It did was. you yeah, did you agree with yeah, me? Yeah, I did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This like, you've already touched on the cinematography. I mean, this oh, movie was a God. beautiful. It was oh. uh, it was almost because the main character too. She was very much a naturalist. She was into yeah. nature. She was doing drawings and stuff. And they just kind of had that whole thing going through the cinematography. It was very. It's almost like watching a nature movie on the na right. on the animal planet or something. And, and I I hope this movie because there's there's story there there's a lot of things that we could talk about in this movie that people can kind of grow and learn from, if you will. But one thing I hope that this inspires people to get outdoors. It was just incredible. Uh, the production design, the, the movie was set in the 50s, yes. and I think they did a good job yes. staying with, oh, with that. Oh, gosh, yes. Really, there was really zero special, special effects. effects in this movie whatsoever. The editing was fine. Yeah, editing usually is fine. It's only when edit when the editing is bad that you really notice right. it. Right. And what about the pace, Tom? Uh, pace for uh, you know for a character study, I thought it moved along very well. I did too. I um, yeah. And there's, uh, you know, we never give away spoilers, but it's interesting in the movie when you're thinking one thing. And at the very end of the movie, you find out something different that you believe, but other people could be thinking something different. I mean, it was just fascinating. I, I'm going to say, because you kind of brought this up a little bit there, and I'm going to say this, and without, I would have given this movie, the longer I had to think about it, I probably mm -hmm. would have given this movie a four if we had done this right after seeing the movie. Right. But I've had a little bit of a chance to, to think, think about, about it. it. And some of the, some of the plot in the end, to me, wasn't very plausible. Right. And for right. me, that kind of brought the score down to a really good movie, and which I where, really enjoyed at the that's time. That's where I disagree with you. Well, and that's, that's, that's why, why we have he, he said, said, she said. said. I thought the dialogue was very good um, in the story arc, very satisfying and plenty of character growth. No, I agree with you. The characters grew greatly throughout the movie. And there's a love story. I mean, oh, definitely. Yeah, there's a love story, too. Absolutely. Um, but, but there are several. If, if you know what I mean, within the community. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's, y'all, it is a complicated movie, but it is worth seeing. Yes, absolutely. This is uh, Where the Crawdad Sings. April gives this movie three and three quarter stars, and I give it three and a half stars. Go see it. Yeah, please go see it. Th these are the type of movies that, that you need to support and, and, and help along. Yeah. Well, y'all, we will see you at the movies. We appreciate hearing from you. And thank you so much for all your support. Stay healthy and happy. See you at the movies. <laughs>